One of the nice things about living in Japan is not the glam. It's being able to come to places like this when you had a trying morning at work. And uh, you can center yourself. Um, of late, I haven't really been referring to myself as a Buddhist very much. I've been referring to myself more as an Athenian, one who holds dear the ancient ideas of virtue from the Stoic philosophers, the Socratic, pre-Socratic, Platonic philosophers. Um, but there is that center of me which is still secular Buddhist, which I appreciate, and it helps. This is um, a temple grounds connected to a cemetery, and it was explained to me once that these are mausoleum drawers with the names of people who passed away, if I'm not mistaken, and they're also on these square islands. Um, there may be ashes in them. They all appear to be separate boxes. I love this place. Um, I believe this is an allegory about the Buddha in these uh, colored relief carvings. Places like this are part of why I still consider myself Buddhist, even though I don't believe in the woo-woo of some of the sects of Buddhism. I'm a big fan of Sam Harris and philosophy, and Sam Harris wrote a book called Spiritual Guide, A Guide to Spirituality Without Religion. That book is called Waking Up, you know, and he most recently actually made what I considered the most egregious mark against Buddhism. You know, I mean, he's generally against organized religion, and I understand that. Um, I'm an atheist too, which might surprise some people if I say I'm a Buddhist. Well, I do as Christians and all other religious people do. I, I take from the religion what makes sense to me, you know, and so I like what the Buddha actually said. He said, don't depend on any gods. But I don't think that means that he didn't think gods existed. And this is a problem. Gods are a problem. Uh, if man is to follow his uh, post-declaration of independence and post-common law ideas of uh, justice and equality and of late post-Nuremberg human rights, you can't really follow dictator gods. You can't do both. Otherwise, you have schisms in your mind and in your thinking. And this is what's wrong with America. People don't even recognize, they haven't even diagnosed what their main problem is. Their main problem is they want to be secular, enlightenment-oriented Americans who base their life not in nationality or tribe, but in doctrine, a doctrine of equality and law. But they're trying to reconcile that unconsciously with a dictatorial situation such as comes from organized and especially theistic religions. And so I understand Sam Harris, but what he doesn't understand is if I were just an atheist, I couldn't really come to a place like this and feel connected to it. And that makes a big difference. So I believe you need a secular spiritual path, but it's okay if it is aligned with a transcendental religion. As long as you don't buy into the woo-woo, as we have come to call it since the advent of the dark web the intellectual dark web. And I still need to do something about my hair because these are not comedy videos. See you in Tokyo.